I am Shashwat. I hope you are all having a really great day. There is exciting news for all Resolve Infusion users. In NAP 2024, Blackmagic has released tons of cool new features in Resolve 19. Today we are going to check out some of these really awesome additions to Fusion. The UST tools on the Fusion page has been updated. You now have the ability to import and manipulate textures directly in the UST scene. Also with the new U volume tool we can now render realistic or stylized smoke flames and explosions. Let me introduce you to some of the features. First, the U volume node. So, in the Fusion page, drag and drop the U volume node from the USD tools. This tool allows us to import volumetric BDB files into the USD environment. Using the U transform node, drag the volumetric file and align it to the center of the grid. In the inspector, change the emission mode to black body and the temperature field to flames. I have kept the temperature to 4000. If need be, adjust emission tint in the density. And finally, change the density scale to 200. Next, add another U transform node. This U transform node is the one that we will be using to place our flames anywhere in the scene. And this is how the scene looks like. If required, you may further tweak the density scale or the emission scale. In Fusion 19, you can now generate highly detailed and realistic surfaces for any USD asset. Let me show you how. First, drag and drop the U shape node in the node editor. Now, drag and drop the U normal map, the U shader, the U texture and the U texture transform nodes. For this material I am using four texture nodes and four instances of the U transform node. Next, connect three of the U textures to the U transform node and connect the fourth to the normal map. Now connect the normal map node to the U transform node. Select a texture node and from the inspector browse for the textures that you are going to use and you need to do this for all four of the texture nodes. Next, connect texture to its corresponding texture map in the shader node. This is how the texture looks like in the viewport. Now we need to attach the texture to the 3D object. For this, drag and drop the U replace material node and connect the 3D object and the texture to this node. This is how our texture looks like on the 3D object. Here I am tiling and scaling the texture to fit it to the object. Finally, I use the dome light to light up my object. Now it's time to bring it in our scene. This is the composition that I created using the new features from Fusion 19. It starts with this footage on which I first did some color correction and then I added a planar tracker so that I can attach my 3D elements to it. Next I added this VDB fire file using Fusion 19's new U volume node. I used U transform to position the fire to the center of the grid and then using the U merge node I added a camera and the light. Then I added the USD renderer node to get an image out. Next I did some color correction. I gave it a blur, then I sharpened it. Then I used the planar transform node to get the planar tracking data from our planar tracker to connect our fire with the footage. After merging it with the footage, using soft glow, I added some glow to the fire. I added another color correction node to the original footage and made it red. Then using mask and fast noise, I created this effect to simulate fire light flickering on the grass. Next, I added this smoke footage and connecting it to displacement node, I created this heat haze effect that we often see surrounding fire. Next, I started adding my 3D elements. Using Fusion 19's new U material texture 
I created this wooden texture that I connected to a cylinder. Then I imported a USD character and merged them all together. Next I added some lights to light up our character and emulate light coming from the fire. Selecting one of the point lights, I animated its intensity to give fire light flickering effect on our 3D objects. I used the same camera that I used for the volume, then I merged them all together. And finally, I rendered them out using the U render node. Next, I did some color correction. I gave it slight blur. I used the same planar transform node and merged it with the rest of the composition. Lastly, I added some more color correction. I added some film grain and then I rendered the composition out. And this is the final result. That's all for today. Until next time, see you.